Hello everyone, this is our 2017 BMW Alpina B7 X Drive with 43,193 miles. Beautiful car, metallic, gloss black paint. Kind of hard to see the metallic flake in it with the shadow and everything, but uh, there we go. Looks really, really nice. Really, really good looking car. Be focusing on the exterior cosmetic condition. So our out of state people can have a look firsthand. It does have just a few rock chips across the front. Not anything serious, very, very minor. Few and far between. Overall, it's in really good shape. Front driver's side fender. Looks excellent. Front driver's side wheel. Looks great. Driver's side mirror. Excellent shape. Front driver's side door. Small mark there, I believe. Yep, just small mark there. Rear driver's side door looks excellent. Driver's side rear quarter panel, no flaws. Rear passenger wheel looks great. Moving around to the back. The back bumper is in excellent condition. Quad exit exhaust looks really nice, polished tips trunk looks great no marks there nothing on the face of the trunk either back end is in immaculate condition rear passenger quarter panel you have a couple scratches here they are very light very subtle not very noticeable at all rear passenger wheel you can really see the kind of the metallic how it sparkles the finish on these wheels is really nice bright silver Looks great. Rear passenger door looks good. Front passenger door, excellent condition as well. Passenger mirror, we've got a couple small scratches here on the top. Really difficult to see with my shadow getting in the way here, but it's in good shape. They're very, very minor defects. Front passenger fender looks really nice. And the front passenger wheel looks good as well. I'll go ahead and walk around the vehicle for me a one foot distance to give you a better big picture idea of the overall condition of the vehicle. Here at Exotic Motorsports, we like to do these comprehensive walk around videos to give our out-of-state buyers the confidence and peace of mind they need to purchase a vehicle from a sight unseen if they choose to do so. Walking around a vehicle from a one foot distance is a lot more indicative of what you might notice on a day to day basis if you're on the vehicle yourself and helps to separate the larger, more obvious flaws from these smaller, less significant ones, helping to give you a better overall perspective of the true condition of the vehicle. Hopefully, I've done that. This is a really clean B7. This car looks really nice. Optioned really well. It just looks so good with the black paint and the silver wheels. On the interior, we do have black leather. We've got one touch uh, windows for all four doors, power locks, bowers. I'm sorry. Yeah, Bowers and Wilkins, audio, um, power trunk, massaging front seats, heated and cooled front seats, heated rear seats, toilet sensing headlights. We've got the LED Sky Lounge dual pane sunroof, which is really cool at night. Um, those actually have little LEDs in them and they will light up. Um, obviously because it's daytime, you can't see it, but I encourage you to get on YouTube, look up Alpina B7 LED Sky Lounge sunroof, and you'll be amazed. It's super cool. The interior looks phenomenal. Just have illuminated door sills as well. You can't really see again because it's daytime, but they do light up. <coughs> Push button start. Oh, sorry, the uh, key fob battery is dead. So you just gotta hold it next to the steering column and push start and then you're good. 
forgot about that. So we are at 43,193 miles. No warnings on the gauge cluster. We've got nav, Bluetooth, satellite radio, heated and cooled seats, as I mentioned, all kinds of parking cameras, cup holders there, infotainment controls, different driving modes. You can raise and lower the car. Shifter there. Uh, the surface on the shifter is not cracked. No wear on the steering wheel. Distance pacing cruise control, lane keep assist. We also have the power telescoping and tilting steering wheel with heated steering. Really nice to have. Leather dash, auto dimming, frameless uh, rear view mirror, universal garage door remotes. You can see the little LEDs in the glass, pretty neat. Alcantara headliner. And because technically this is a seven series, it has an insane amount of room in the back. Probably one of the most spacious sedans I've ever sat in. <coughs> pretty close to the amount of legroom as a half ton truck. Um, so we've got this kind of like tray table here that folds down and you've got like a drink holder as well Kind of cool if you need to get some work done and you're a passenger in the back here You also got a tablet holder on that side Dual zone rear climate control with rear heated seats And for your door controls also, I really like this hand grip how it goes inside the door. I love that um, so you have the rear uh, sunroof shade that you can control with that and you have the rear sunshade I think these are yep, power sunshades for each side so you can also control the right side it even has a little one that folds out pretty wild and then of course the rear so if you really just want to block out the sun you can do that, and then of course you have your window control as well, which is pretty awesome. Pretty neat, a lot of control from the back, which is great for passengers. This is just such a well-optioned car, it has so many features, there's a lot going on with it. Here, the car gets even better. We have a twin turbo 4.4 liter V8 paired with an eight speed automatic. And the car is all wheel drive. So this thing is a performance monster as well. It makes a ton of torque, which provides for a great driving experience too. It makes it really, really smooth because making a lot of power and low RPMs, uh, the car doesn't have to rev up to make power to accelerate. So you get a really comfortable, smooth driving experience. And then of course you put it in sport mode and this car takes off and is pretty quick. That was really smooth. 4.4 is a great platform. So overall, I mean, this car just looks incredible, has so many options. Uh, drives incredibly smooth. It's a really, really nice car and you get an astounding amount of car for the money. Um, this is like S560 adjacent, but for half the cost. Um, these cars, they, they just look great. They drive great. There's nothing to not love about them. So that is our 2017 BMW Alpina V7. If you have any further questions, please feel free to check out this car on our website at exoticmotorsportsok.com. Thank you for watching.